Ah, uh, no names. Quickie. Four of us were nothing but a burden to our mother. We cramped her style, inconvenienced her love life. So she sent us away in order to travel the world with her new husband. She gave over custody of my older brother and sister, 13 and 14, to their father to live in a different state when they were divorced. This meant I never grew up with them from the age of four. I am the product of an affair she had. So different fathers. My other older sister and I went to live with my mother and her new boyfriend after he kicked his wife and two minor kids out of their home. When I was 11, they sent me away to boarding school for two years so they could travel the country, leaving my older sister, who was in high school, left her home to fend for herself. Shortly after I came back home to live, they kicked my sister out to live with her father and my other sister because she was too difficult. My brother at this point left to join the Navy. So I became an only child and never spoke to or saw my siblings again for years. When I started high school at 14, my stepfather began exposing himself to me and offering me money to see me naked. When I told my mother, she said she did not believe me. But when stepfather finally admitted it, she never mentioned it again and demanded I do the same. All of us siblings ended up abusing drugs and alcohol and food to cope. Still to this day, now in our 50s and 60s, except for me, I've been sober since 2012 when I cut my mother and stepfather out of my life. My siblings still have contact with her, although limited. My stepfather says I have a special place in hell. <laughs> the one who exposes himself to his stepkids. <laughs> My stepfather says I have a special place in hell for taking her three grandchildren away from <laughs> grandma. Mother keeps seem, uh, emailing me old photos of my kids and me with her before I got sober and cut ties, as well as posting them on social media, making it look like she was such a loving grandma, saying how she misses them, blah, blah, blah. Any wise words of wisdom on how to respond to her, if at all? Thanks. No, don't respond. Like whiffs of smoke. Just let them waft out and become invisible in the sky. These are very sick and dangerous people. And I hope all your siblings know about his antics, just in case they're thinking about leaving their kids over there.